Hi. It's your girl Kirby Z and it is at last Halloween. <sighs> and in the spirit of Halloween, I thought it would be a great idea if I share a Halloween story with you guys. But first, let me give you the lowdown on Bestie. My best friend's name is Tessa and we've been best friends since 11, 12 years old and we've been inseparable ever since. And we had a lot of crazy moments since we were 11, 12 years old. And now that we both have sons, we both pray that they don't end up as stupid as we are now. And one of those stupid moments is the one that I'm about to share with you today. Story time! This takes place when we're like 13, 14 years old, and since we're long distance best friends, we really can't see each other like that. So this particular year, she wanted to come to where I live so we can hang out and everything on Halloween. That year, we went over to her grandpa's house and we had nothing planned, and so he came in the room and he was like, I have a great idea. How about we go to a haunted house that was made by college kids? No, we are 13, 14 years old. We thought we were badasses. Yeah. We're trying to see what to wear, but we couldn't really decide, so she decided to get platform flip-flops. Yes, it was the early 2000s. Give us a break. So we hop in the car, and as we're driving, I'm noticing that we are not in the same area where I live anymore, because it started leading down like this dark road. Finally we get there and as we're approaching the haunted house, I'm starting to see like weird stuff like vampires, wolves, kids eating vegetables. It was a terrible sight. It was just... By this time we were waiting in the freaking line for like 30 minutes waiting to get in and finally it's our turn to get inside. But before we got inside, this guy that's bald and gross and sweaty and, and living off mortgage payments. <laughs> Before we go in, he yells, FRESH ME! He slams the door behind us. We're stuck in this room that's like pitch black with a lady with a hood and we can't see her face and she's in the corner and the first thing that she says is, Catherine, come here, Catherine. Oh, hell no. And Tessa's is steady trying to push me forward and I'm like, oh, if you don't get your privileged ass up there, I know she's calling my name, but my people have suffered enough. After conquering the creepy lady in the corner with the one light bulb, we went into this hallway that led into this room where there was like hanging laundry. There was these signs that kept saying if it's too much for you or if it's too scary for you, you can always go out and exit. Here's the thing, there were no exits. While you're going through these sheets, you would think you would find an exit, but you can't see because of the strobe lights. And then, as we're going through the laundry, this clown comes out of nowhere and scares the living crap out of me. He looked like he was strung out on something. I think he might have been the first person that created cream cheese. Like, I don't know. I just had that feeling. When we finally found an exit, the exit was actually a crawl space. So we went through the crawl space and it led to this room where it had a more kind of feeling because the second you stand up from the crawl space, it's a coffin right in your face. And in the coffin, it had like this old lady and there was clowns and dolls everywhere in this room and nothing was moving. So it was kind of like a dead silence kind of thing, except the lady in the coffin that was supposed to be playing Mary Shaw. She was kind of bloated. So. As I'm walking, these clowns are following me slowly one by one. And I thought I was losing my mind because I'm like, I hear something behind me, but nah. Turns out these clowns are like six, seven feet tall. Tessa, where's she at? Where's she at? Tessa went ahead of me. Here I am in the back with these seven clowns and they cornered me and yeah, I started to cry because I was really just scared. After I pulled myself together from the whole morgue clown incident, we went into this hallway that led into yet another crawl space that had strobe lights. And as we're crawling, I see something in the corner. Yes, another corner with a creepy bitch in the corner. And yes, she went to the same hairdresser as the first lady when we first walk in. Hair in her face, but she was a purist because she was wearing white. So then we go into this ball pit, and after we go into the ball pit, we have to climb up these really hard ropes that just made me ashy, and I had no lotion on me. What the? No. The second I get up, I see this clown come out of nowhere and he starts going and jumping on a car and he starts sitting on it and he's just smiling at me. The second we even hit the exit,
opposite. Guess what happens? Another clown comes out of nowhere, scares the living crap out of Tessa. I don't know what happened at this point, because we were cool, calm, and collect, and then all of a sudden, a different clown comes out of nowhere with a chainsaw. And the second we hear, we started running. I'm running and I look behind me, guess what happened to Tessa? Yeah, remember those platform flip-flops? Yeah, she's the reason why we got killed. Hypothetically. She lost one of her flip-flops, tripped, and I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? Do I just keep running or I go back and get her? So my dumbass goes back and gets her like the good person I am. We go straight to the beginning where we first came in and we trip on some gravel. Who does that? We did. We made it work. He let us go after that. Guess what we had to do? We had to go right back in because we had to go get what? Yep. Her shoe. We see the same cute boys and all these people waiting in line to get into the haunted house. They were laughing and clapping. We had a standing ovation because I guess it was like the greatest theatrical thing they've ever seen. The moral of that story is just don't wear platform flip-flops and bring a black person with you because you have more than a 50% chance of living because we die eventually in horror movies. So give this video a thumbs up if you ever had a really embarrassing Halloween story just like mine. Hopefully better. And make sure to follow me on my social media. It'll be right here for you. And the rest will be in the description box below. And make sure you hit up KirbyZ.com so you can get yourself a t-shirt. And comment below what you're going to be for Halloween. And thank y'all for watching once again. And I'm going to go find my best friend so I can hit her with a modern day flip-flop.